Yo, what the fuck is up, everybody? It's the Wrath of Aquarius podcast. Go check out my fucking music on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, YouTube, wherever you listen to your music. It's Marano. M-A-R-A-N-O. You're gonna like it. Fuck yeah. So, we're here. <laughs> Frankie. To talk about his new EP. Yes. So. Yes, it is. Uh, Alright, so it's called the Smooth Yeah. Smooth Yeah. Smooth Yeah. Smooth Yeah. Sessions. It's a, it's a Polish word. Now, there's a few like ways that you can interpret it, but the way that I'm using it would be for sorrow. So oh, these, shit. Are, these are the sorrow sessions. That's that's with uh Yeah. That's the um That's a pretty fucking that's dope the idea. description. That's like the idea of the, of the EP. So I'll just go for it. Um, pretty much like the three of these songs, it's the, it's been a year process kind of. In the end, it ended up being a year to like get these together to do this. Yeah. So the first song on the album is uh, "Stone from the Matter," which we're gonna put at the end, right? Fuck yeah! I'm gonna so slap it on the end so you guys get to listen end. to that. It's gonna be the first time, I guess. It'll be like the debut. And when is this? Um, next Saturday. Okay. So what? So what? When are they listening to it? It'll be on the twelfth. Yes. Right. Okay. So today's the twelfth. So, you're hearing it pretty much a week early. It's the first song. Anyway, so the first one's Stone from the Matter. Uh, I started it last October. Oh, and shit. Now, you know, now it's, it's, it's almost yeah, it's 11 months, right? That one was a pain in the ass. A pain in the ass to finish, but I got it. Um, Why was it a pain in the ass? Just to make sick and well, shit like that. I think, because, alright, so my whole creative process or whatever, when I make a song, like, I'll make the music first, yeah. and then I'll lay down vocals or whatever. But, like, sometimes I'll lay a vocal track down, it's not good at all, but, like, I have the idea there, and then I, like, fall in love with, like, only that way of doing it, you know? Then it's like, that's the way, I don't try anything else, which, yeah. I guess that's, I don't know if that's how everyone does it, you know? But it, it, it was a hard thing to, it was too hard, you know? It was like a big challenge to try and actually accomplish what I was trying to do. Yeah. So it just took, I guess, I don't know, I, it took, so there's, like I said, I had like 10 versions of it. And, even, you know, I don't think it <laughs> It just, it was a bitch to sing. And it was a bitch to get the sound right. Because, I don't know, I wanted a big sound. With this. I wanted, like, you heard it this guitar and then when everything comes in it like picks up you yeah. know and I'm new to like mixing shit and I hope like I think it's gotten better as they've come out the yeah, sound you know? definitely and so like cause I the was first waiting, one I, I, was I was like damn I was like Frankie's vocals are fucking dope in this fucking version you know? yeah I was waiting to like have the whatever the experience or like it just be a little better to know what I'm doing so have that sound the Marano experience <laughs> That was that one. See, see, I'm like sighing about that one. Yeah, you're but, just like all the fucking blood, sweat, but, and tears that it took to know, make this fucking song. Supposedly, it's all right. It's, it's good. Hopefully, it's good. But yeah, that was a pain in the ass. It is good. And so then, that was last October, you know, and I just wrapped it up like, I don't know, a month ago, two months ago. And then the second song, that's A Failure to Comply. You like these names? <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> This yeah. one. <laughs> that, one, that one I finished um, when, when was that though? That was like at the end of June Like kind of right before My last song came out That's yeah. where stay That one Like I was anticipating that coming out And while I was waiting for that coming out I made that one And that was like That song The second song Is a very like I made the music for it. I laid down like one or two tracks for it, and I was like, "That's it. Like that's all. You know, I don't oh, know. Shit. I don't know if it sounds <laughs> like I did a thousand tracks or if it does sound like I only did two tracks. You know, I don't know what it sounds like to <laughs> other people, but it was only like one or two t- tries, and I was like, "That's it. That's exactly what I want to do." So exactly. It's like and why then, would you and fuck with it? And then I don't touch it too good. much. I I could sit there for a month and like perfect it and make it sound, you know. I know uh, what you sanitized mean. Sanitized and make yeah. it sound like so fucking clean and perfect, but I yeah, don't like Yeah, it's like, like the more you that. like work on it and like yeah, kind of like, like dumb it, it down, being, it's like kind of like, yeah, yeah you know, it, like you want it raw. Yeah. I understand That's, what you mean. Yeah, so 
So so what I'm saying. So then like it's so there was Don't the first it. song was October. This one was you know coming in June, and then the last song was. August, you know like was like th- the beginning of this was two weeks ago or whatever yeah. a week ago whenever whenever it was it was j- just happened, and I was like, this has to go on a two. And they all, t- you know. I have lyrics available. It should be on, like I, you know, Apple Music. You could read the lyrics, but if if people that's cool that you're actually able to like put lyrics yeah. and shit up. I didn't know that. If if people get to the lyrics and they understand them, or they could get something from it, you know, out of I I have a meaning to it. I don't know if they mean to other people, but they tell a story of a year of my life, pretty much. Yeah. You know, from three different periods that it's and and all of my writing is all reflect you know like everything yeah, is all about me yeah, all, like, yeah. it's like anything this is my that you story. hear of my stuff is yeah it's all like from me I'm not I don't write about like stories or write about other people you know like or I don't uh, it's always um, what is the word like introspective is that the word introspective or whatever I think you so. know like always yeah. looking inside you know uh, that's what I'm trying to say so yeah I get what you mean. I do the same shit with my and poetry and shit and like that too. It's three sad songs, so that's why it's the the sorrow sessions, you know. Yeah, but that's like damn. Weird. This that year, sounded weird. Though. It was pretty fucking sorrowful. Yeah. yeah, but that sounded weird. The sorrow sessions. I was like, no, I can't do that. So we went a little foreign. Honestly. I understand that because I do that too. I'm like, this word in English because, is bland as fuck. Because, it's like I need to spice it up and put it in Latin it, or and they're something. Gonna, they're not gonna, you know, you're not. If I didn't say smoonya, you you would went like smoonie. But whatever. Yeah. Then you're like, what the fuck is smoonie? And then maybe <laughs> maybe you click on it. You know, like yeah, it's, it's not just a word like to either you. way. To it's you, it's not a fucking someone. word. To Polish people, they're like, oh, hey, what's up? But if you're not fucking oh, shit, Polish, yeah, yeah, yeah. then you're like, what is smoonie? But maybe that's. Maybe that intrigued you I don't know So I get and what then, you mean It's just like Either way They're still fucking Yeah Yeah Looking at my shit I mean <laughs> And then that's I it I fucking love it though And I guess so, You know Something else I could say Is you know that I make everything On, on the computer I've done that for like Six years Yeah Um But this Uh But the last song she uh she thinks she knows it all. That was like I guess that's the first like live actual there's an actual instrument in it. So that's cool. And I'm definitely gonna try from ev- anything else now in the future to have more live stuff, you know. I feel like live stuff always sounds better. It's like yeah. you can always it do it on the my, computer. It was just but the restrictions, just, you know, like you know how exactly you, you know yeah. it's, it's like that's what makes you grow as an artist. It's like yeah. when you're in the future and you can incorporate that live instruments mm-hmm. and stuff like that you'll look back and you'll be like damn remember when I, I only had a fucking computer yeah, I think and then now you're I'm like yo I got all this guitar. shit yeah I'm gonna start putting in you know real guitar everything else will still be you know digital for now but get that in first and then I don't know just... yeah it's like just like get whatever you can at that moment and then just like do and like make music only with that shit and then it can be like a different phase in your career you'd be like oh yeah you only get like three instruments in that career so this is what I did like you get like profit off of it still mm-hmm. oh yeah oh yeah profit oh yeah yeah I feel like that like oh, cause yeah. I got in that mindset I was just like oh yo I had nothing like honestly though I, I couldn't think... do anything but I'm like yo I didn't even think about it that way just like make do with whatever you can you were talking about profit and I was kidding when I said yeah but Yo, what the fuck is that? Um, yo, it's playing. Is shit. that a wasp or something? A I don't know. Wasp? What? Are, what is it? Thirteen. Of course, it's thirteen. I have uh, thirteen followers on Spotify. I'd like to thank the thirteen Spotify, <laughs> the thirteen Spotify followers. Whoever you guys are, I'm fine with fucking thirteen. I I I couldn't be happier. That's. You know, Honestly, being in a room with 13 people. My, my birthday is, is November 13th. Uh, so th- 13 is good with me. You 13, and that's awesome. I love you guys, whoever you are. Repeating um, numbers. And I'm fine with just you guys. Thanks. Fuck yeah. But just got to keep doing what you love, and I feel like it eventually grows. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, this year I like I just started taking it more seriously. You know. Yeah, like, it's like you just yeah. started. Like, why? Yeah, I mean, I pretty much met you. What, did I have my music out when I met you? No, right? No, oh, because we were together on uh, on four twenty. So I, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. it wasn't out yet. I put out. I put that stuff out in May. I feel like you were just starting. I was just yeah, like getting into like thing. Well, hold or you on, had no, like hold some on, shit, no, or you had like hold some on, shit, no. but you never. I have. It. I yes, exactly. That's something that I have. I have <laughs> I have albums worth I do <laughs> Oh I'm serious I probably have Facts just fucking I probably have 30 Releases I I probably have I'm dead serious You have your career set already so You already worked 20, <laughs> I have really 20 sick. to 30 Dude maybe Yeah my car does that <laughs> <laughs> It's the vibrator dude We yeah, get a yeah, fucking yeah. I, could, I could tell uh, Yeah you know what It is kind of nice um, No I have like 20 to 30 songs going back to 2014 like the past six years. they're not good I mean but there's, but like the there's thing is pieces in it dude them. there's there's some I'm like I'm like I was like 12 13 yeah but you what get the, the message what is this shit yeah, yeah like <laughs> some of it I'm like holy shit I'm like that's better than what I make now you know what I'm saying because maybe you were more but it's not it's not it there it's not there it'll be like a little hook or something And I'm like What the fuck Like that's cool Yeah it's like, like little messages From the past That yeah. now When you have, so the have more to, knowledge You're just like gonna, I can make a full song Out of this it. shit Yes that's what I'm gonna start doing I understand and that I've been doing that recently as well If you wanna go even further I have a <laughs> CD With like Six or seven songs in it From when I was shit. Eight years old I had Dude I had a rock band Microphone Like a 20 key Casio Like Three fucking colors Cheap ass keyboard Yeah And a fucking Barbaric computer Like the big White fucking You know Tower on the floor The big Square box Oh So I had Like a cheap Like 20 key Casio p- Keyboard That you get at like You know Toys R Us Like Piece of shit Yeah A rock band microphone USB uh, And then like A computer from the Late 90s Barbaric, like boxy, <laughs> fucking the cube. with like Windows, like ninety eight, like not even Doodle. XP, like Windows. the gray Windows. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. The old Windows, and, but it had an audio recorder on it, so I could record files. I could make files. Yeah, and I could burn them to CDs. I knew how to do that shit too. So I would just put the microphone like on the on one of the ends of the speaker, and I would like go like this, and like just lean down and, <laughs> and bang on the fucking keys and sing. And you'd hear every time I hit it, you'd hear like you know. Yeah, like you'd the hear, actual you'd hear planking, me yeah. banging on the on the plastic, but that's what I had, and I did it, and I made albums like that. But I only had, I only got to save one because I I moved. But dude, I had like five or six albums, and all went on like eight <laughs> or nine. It's and, so fucking insane. Cause and, uh, oh my god, I have. Uh, I was gonna play a little bit if you want. I pulled yes. it up here. The fucking prodigy. I pulled tapes. it up here. We got. This is again another. I mean, I mean, what more can you ask for from the Wrath of Aquarius podcast? Here, you have. We got it all. A, folks. Uh, we're debuting a new song at the end, and you're gonna get to hear a song that I made when I was eight. You got a two for you. Come on. This is a. This These is are a pretty, exclusives. Come yeah, on. Yeah, literally. You get to make know them me. pay for this. Uh. You get to know me. You ever go? You ever go on my social media? Anybody? You ever go on my Spotify page? Is there any information about me? No. There's nothing, because that's how I like it. But this, you, you get <gasps> to know me. Yeah, I like being mysterious and quiet and hidden. You don't know shit about me. You go on my thing. There's like a video of me singing. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at that guy. That's it. Yeah, no description. That's it. Just but now talent. you tune into Matt here on his podcast, and look, now you know who I am. Anyway, we're gonna go with the Verge this get, time. You get to know. This is the Verge. This is the last song. Fuck yes. From my uh, my uh, album when when I was eight or nine. Oh wait, I should go through all the names, right? So uh, you pick one. We got a, <laughs> we got a, the first one was called, <laughs> the first one was called, you like that? <laughs> the, 
The first one was called It works so well <laughs> Flight It's an instrumental dude I was 8 or 9 with an instrumental Can you believe that? Have you ever heard that it's before? So you probably great. just heard that or something But yeah. Have you ever heard that before? Never nah, in your man. life, like, right? No one's nah. ever said that to you That they made an instrumental when they're 8 or 9 Fuck no, dude Right, never And uh, <laughs> Then we got number 2 though This was the leading leading track And you know Everybody listening Um yeah, you, you don't know what's going on. That's on purpose. Screw you. <laughs> Number two, uh, we got Sleep Alone. That was the leading track. Then we had Mr. Panic, Trapped in a Box, Sign of Thee, and The Verge. Yeah, Sign of Thee songs, was baby. philosophical as fuck. I was like, damn. It's playing a little quiet. Frankie, it's playing yeah. a little quiet. These, these, mixes, uh, these mixes off of that computer. Oh, dude. I have... Oh, no, dude. <laughs> what? I have another... All right, hold on. It says CD2. I don't know what's on that one. Oh, All right, hold shit. on. I don't know what else material is on that that we're going to get to play here. Uh, uh, dude, let's just go for the uh, amusement first. I'm just going to play Trapped in a Box. I think that's going to get the most attention. Here we go. Fuck yeah. And there you go. Here we go into the abyss, unborn childhood, very missed at eight fucking years old. Anyway. Fucking masterpiece. Uh, maybe you'll hear that more of that one day. Let's see what's on CD2. There's, yeah, you gotta remaster There's nothing that, on CD2. Oh, damn. It fucking blue balls, dude. Damn. Made me think. Made me think I was gonna get something. Made me wonder. Like, like you know, another thing... That I did when I was when I was making that stuff uh, when I was younger, eight, nine. Like, dude, like I said before, I had a fucking instrumental when I was eight or nine. Yeah. I was making f- f- CDs by myself, like making, naming, giving them uh, album titles and naming every track and, and taking it like really serious. And yeah, I, dude, I you were even, like practicing. Dude, you're like, I am going to. Do I this. even made a like a two disc album. And it was called, like, Solar Size or some shit like that. And it was, like, all the planets. Like, the first CD was Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. The second one was Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Yeah. Maybe Pluto was on it, too, at that time. Because I think it was Maybe still... Maybe because you were younger, I think it was yeah. Still, I think it was still a planet then, whatever. Maybe Pluto... I, I'm oh, pretty sure Pluto was on it, too. Oh, shit. Well, when was that? 2008 that they changed it? 2009? Yeah, 10? I don't know. I, I don't remember know. I was in elementary school, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. I think Pluto is on shit, it too. It? Maybe I put dwarf after it. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, but some shit. Like <laughs> I even did that shit. So it's a bonus you know, track. <laughs> all you, all you musicians. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. So you need to do a new version of it and and like be like the second, and then ah, it's gonna be a little when you now. uh, it, it's gotta be in reminiscence to I this, don't... and then people are gonna be like, "Where's the first? And you'd be like. Gone. I had someone it. Someone has yeah, it. Yeah, it's like someone or it's, has or it's it. in a landfill. Who knows? Should I talk about Red Bull now? Yeah, that's the first Frankie thing I do. I want to be sponsored by Red, by Red Bull when I'm when I'm a, when I'm fucking famous. Give me free Red Bull, dude. I'll do. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want me to do? You want me to make a song? I fucking I'll sing. I'll make a Red Bull song. Like what? What do you want me to do? I'm gonna get free Red Bull the rest of my life. Yeah. I got I got you What is it What is it that you want I'll do it You know I think that you could Just pretty much Just like ask them And just be like Yo can I just sponsor Your shit And they'll be like Yeah And I guess if you're Big enough Then they'll be like Yeah we'll like Start giving you free shit And paying you for like Bringing traction To their company And shit That's how it works But (sighs) I guess Um the only, uh, only other thing I could say is I'm doing this cover band with a few old farts. They're Fuck like, yeah. They're, um, no, they're great guys though. Um, and we're doing some Almond Brothers, John Lennon, Bruce Springsteen, um, who else? Uh, fucking Doobie Brothers, uh, Cream. We got we got a little bit of everyone. Uh, Credence. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
some that cool, sounds some cool dope shit, as fuck. Some cool shit. Right. I feel like your voice definitely fits that like era. I actually, do it. I went into it kind of like, like I was like confident about it, but then once. I started singing that style and that era and stuff. I was like, "Wow, this is like really my." This yeah, is exactly, that you knew where you this fit is in. Exactly. Right? Yeah, because I never really knew. Like I, I, I don't know. You know, I knew I could sing. I knew I could sing like different styles or whatever, but I didn't know what my, like, what what my power was or whatever. And then yeah. I started singing that stuff, and I was like, "That's that's a hundred percent where it is." And, like the uh, the powerful like chest kind of you know like yeah you're the, like the rocking, I fucking yeah. understand like southern man. rock singers and yeah. stuff like that yeah with all the with you know there's a lot like a uh, there's a lot of passion or whatever when they sing so that's fucking awesome though like that's what's gonna make you I can't wait to go I hope we get to do a show this year I don't know because like, I feel like the thing is that like yo things are a little looser in Pennsylvania oh shit so, really yeah fuck yeah so that might be possible. Yeah, uh, literally just fucking do it. <laughs> like, do it. Do it. Pray that you don't get when fucking I corona, go, but do it. When, if, if they say they have a show, because it might be in Pennsylvania, that makes it like a billion times more exciting. Yeah. My first show scene ever. And in I'm, Pennsylvania? And I'm already, I'm already in so corona, ready yeah. for it, you know? I'm already so excited. There's, I'm not fucking scared of a drop in my body. Like, I'm ready to fucking go put on yeah. the show you know what I'm saying so like if I gotta take a tr- trip three hours too and it's like a little more adventurous or whatever yeah fuck yeah it's like what else what else are you gonna do it's like it's like just fucking do it you know I struggle with one thing though what and I'm going to mouth this to you because I can't say it on the podcast, but it'll be funny. I mean, I can also edit it it'll out. Be, no, no, no. It'll be funny for them to hear the reaction from you without oh, knowing okay. what I'm saying. My 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 conflict about going on stage is... Okay. <laughs> you know? Because yeah. they both have their pros and cons. Yeah. And there's... There's uh, comfort in both of them, you know. Yeah. There's, there's there's ups and downs, and it's like it's I'm torn because they they could both go great. I know I've done it both ways, and I know that they could both go great. So it's like <laughs> maybe maybe not maybe not on Do number it the one first. Maybe not on number one. You know what I'm saying? Just to like throw it off a little more. Okay. Yeah. Do more number two until you're ready, you know? Dude, listen. This is great. This is great. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry, but... Yeah. We're just having a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get on on our level. Decipher it. Let's go. Yeah. Break out a notepad and follow us a little bit. And then you'll be in. You'll be in on the chat. Start making the lines. (laughs) Connect the dots. (laughs) Connect the dots. Connect the dots. Show me what you got. <laughs> Independence Hill, bro. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings <laughs> from Podcastville. <laughs> the church of what's happening now. <laughs> Dude. I fucking love Joey Diaz. I feel Did like you see he's the like, last one? He I didn't see was... his last video. Oh. I saw I see him on Dude, Joe Rogan. You have to you have to watch like I won't say anything, but he does something in it, and you're like, oh shit, and then he gets you, and you're like, oh, Joey, oh, you know? Okay, he, the new, the he newest plays a one, trick on you, yeah. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, it's great. Because you, like, get sucked into it for a second, and then, no. <laughs> Like, oh, what? Greetings! Greetings! <laughs> the way that he talks, it's just that he's like, it's like yo, yo, Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, when I met him, when he went fucking Joey when, when Diaz he came out, when he came out of like the thing, he like he was a big guy. I don't know why I thought he like he was taller than me. I'm pretty sure, or he was like really, he was like just my height. And you thought he was gonna be shorter and well, shit. I mean, I know he's a bigger guy, and I just 
a, like, I don't know why I, like, but he's tall. He's big. He's like a big dude. Fuck. Huh. Hell yeah. But I remember, like, he came out. He came out, and, like, there was, there was this group of, like, older guys, like, 30s, 40s, whatever. Probably 40, like, older, older, older people. Yeah. They were, like, being really annoying, you know? Like, they were, like, circling him and, like, crowding him. Oh, shit, Evans here. Hold on. Oh, like, so they were, he comes out, and, um, there's four or five guys, like, they all, like, circle around him and crowd him and start fucking bothering him, you know, talking to him, or whatever, talking to him, not bothering him, but they, like, circled him, whatever, and I, like, stood back, you know, I was just fucking waiting, I wasn't gonna, like, get involved in that, I was just giving it time, Yeah. and he, like, stopped after, like, the second guy, and he, and he like, like pointed at me or whatever he's like F- come over here come over here you know like hey, shit. I wish I could do his voice like come over here you know and <laughs> I come came over <laughs> I forgot you know like I said hi or whatever and I, I remember the, the girl I was with uh, he was like he was like uh, <laughs> what did he say I think he was like come over here beautiful or like yeah. or like how you doing beautiful let me keep calling him beautiful <laughs> like exactly what you would think how he would be you know what I'm saying yeah exactly <laughs> and then um, no but then like we took a picture it was fucking awesome and he was like thanks for coming did you did you like the show did you enjoy the show like talking to us um, it's just like yo Nike, am I really safe? talking to him right yeah. now this is amazing and then he was like alright I gotta Alright guys, I gotta go. I gotta go, and he like, and he started walking away. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> uh, I fucking love that shit. But dude, I remember also like they, uh, when we got there, he like he just came out, and someone like threw a plastic bag on stage at him, and he picks it up, and he's like, oh, is this like a gift, a gift, and he pulls out a shirt, and it says like I love New York, and he's like. Why the fuck would someone give me this? I don't need this. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, why would I? Why would I get this? And then they're like in the bag, in the bag, and he like, he's like, what is this? He's like, oh, it's reefer. <laughs> he's like, there's reefer in here. And like, someone gave him some weed, and he's like, all right, thank you, thank he's you, like, thank Merry you. Christmas, or whatever he said. You know, like. <laughs> And then, uh... Dude, people just throw shit at you when you're fucking at that level, I feel like. <laughs> they just give shit to you for free just because that you're you, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> I'm getting rewarded. <laughs> you know? But I remember that's how I knew, um, like, uh, that he was gonna be coming out, because, um, that bag, I remember, like, the color of the shirt, it was, like, a red shirt or something, or yellow, and... You could see it through the bag. And then when I came out of the venue, I saw this guy, you know, and, like, he was dressed nicely or whatever, and he had that bag in his hand. It was definitely, like, that bag. So I was like, oh, that must be, like, his his guy, his manager or some shit. So I just, like, waited there, and then everyone ended up waiting there. Oh, shit. It's cool, though. <laughs> You're like, I fucking know what's about to go down. I'm going to stay right here. <laughs> But you know what I was thinking? Is it? Fuck yeah. It's weird. Like uh, last year, I met two people that like really influenced me and like you know changed my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I met the guy from that band. Um, I don't know if you remember. Uh, Holy J. Bullshit. J. Buchanan. Oh, J. Buchanan from Rival Sons. Oh. You didn't tell me I met me about him this. twice last year, but I went by myself on Easter. Like I had work, but I knew they were coming, and it was in Brooklyn. And I remember like at that time. I had never driven to the city of Brooklyn, like, ever. Yeah, it's just like, a, it was like, Ooh. And I was like, man, like, I really love this band that are coming. Like, I'm going to go by myself. And I fucking called work, and they got so pissed at me because it was, like, last minute. I made up some bullshit. I was, and um, I drove there by myself. I got there early. I waited in line to get a ticket. I went right up to the fucking front. Didn't go to the bathroom, doing whatever. Stayed <laughs> right in the front. And that was the best concert of my life. And then after... I, I, leave, I leave and I was like parked on the side of the building and the tour bus happened to be on the side of the building. Yeah. So everyone was like waiting somewhere else and I was just on the side and I'm like smoking a cigarette and I'm sitting at the tour bus. And I'm like, this is pointless, but I'm like having a cigarette. I'm on the phone, whatever. And I fucking see him and only him walk into the tour bus. You're like, oh, but he, and he like, he, I, I don't know if he saw me, but he walks in and he just goes in, and he doesn't even like give me, you know, like he just go. I'm like, I'm yeah. like, okay, 
I'm like, all right, he wants, to, like, I'm not even going to bother, you know, I'm not going to, Yeah, okay, it's like, fine, a, he fine. obviously, he doesn't want to be fine. bothered. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I get up, and I'm like, and I think I was on the phone with someone, and I was like, oh, like, he's fucking right in front of me, holy shit, he just went in the bus, and I was like, oh, like, all right, I guess he's not coming out, and I, I think I was on the phone still, and he fucking came back out, and he just walks out and steps in front of the bus and lights a cigarette, and I was like, no fucking way yeah, And there was like, no one there Because no one was there They were waiting Everyone else was waiting somewhere else I was the only fucking person on that side And he's smoking a cigarette And I walked over and I was like I'm sorry to fucking bother you Like I really like, don't want to be bothering be you amazing. But whatever And he was like the fucking kindest guy in On the planet he had nice, And like he, He's one of my like Inspirations to sing and everything And I, I fucking talked to him for like a half hour Completely alone Nobody Shit. noticed And he didn't ke- He kept And he was like in tr- You know It wasn't like I was boring him Like I was like Holding him He was actually him. intrigued and shit He was talking that, yeah. to me We were yeah. in a conversation About a, a ton of things I, You know We were talking about cigarettes Because he was smoking And I was smoking And we were like to, oh, You know He had yeah, like a, Just like Yo what's yeah. your fucking Favorite cigarette I, I dude like, he, he only uses matches You know Like he won't use a lighter Yeah He carries matches with him And shit, shit. I don't know. Does he have a reason Is he like I don't know He just always has Maybe matches. it's the butane <laughs> Maybe he's fucking. And, uh, but like, then, yo, then fuck in, in freaking uh, in like September, then you know later on that year, I went to another show. I happened to be in the right spot again. I met him again. I met the drummer that time. I met the bass player, and he talked to me again. And he remembered me. He was oh like, shit! He was like, he's oh, yeah, like, yo, yeah, you're from the Easter show in Brooklyn. And I was like, yeah. It's like him, yes, thank I you. Him, I had a Nat Sherman on me. You know what a Nat Sherman is? No. It's 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 a cigarette. I don't know. It's like a cigarette that they. Uh, they I don't know. There's some big oh, okay. story about them, but it's like I don't know. Sinatra smoked them with the mafia. So I don't know what the fuck. You know, like it's like a special I get it, cigarette. I get it, yeah. They're like twenty dollars a pack or something. But I had like one more left. Exclusive. It's like a, it's like a noble cigarette or whatever. You know, if like yeah, you yeah. give someone one of those, it's like oh thank you, like for real. It's yeah, yeah it's just like cigarette. this is some fucking yeah, good yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had like one more in the box And when I talked to him I'm like, I was like can I give you this And he was like oh Nat Sherman I was like yeah like it's my last one Like I just want to give it And he's like yeah And he took it It's like yes <laughs> I, I gave it this it, But he took it Fuck yeah <laughs> <laughs> But yeah and then I met Joe And then I met Joe Diaz in November It was like such a weird year uh, Cause That's I never did that great. ever You know I never went anywhere to meet anyone Or tried to meet anyone And it's like it's just like it just happened. fell into place, yeah. three, you know, all those times. It was meant to be. Yeah. It's like maybe, like, you needed the specific things in your life to kind of, like, boost you to get where you want to be. Yeah. And it was just a weird year. It was a big year. I mean, you know, it's weird looking back on it in, like, a, you know, it's called the Wrath of Aquarius podcast. So if you Fuck if we're going to get, like, into that, you know, the, that shit, it's weird looking back on, the like... Because I, I've always wanted to do music And like this year I took it more seriously And I think like I'm going to just keep Trying to take it more seriously Or something You know like Yeah I'm just gonna, keep building and building Keep building it And Last year You know What I was doing And I was at a lot of shows Because of that You know Yeah All the time I was out At live shows You know And it was like The first time because I, I, I want, I, I'll, I'll die for music. I love music. I want to do music. But I had never done that. Just fucking go to shows all the time and like really be, in be the a culture. part of that yeah. stuff. And I was, I started going like every weekend. I was somewhere, whatever. I got to see Rival Sons twice. I saw Billy Joel. I saw Elton John. Like these big people that mean, you know, that are so like high to me. Yeah. Like I hold them high, whatever. Like your role models. All in like music. one year. You know, like like a nice little boost. A yeah. nice little pill to swallow of all this like music to like Yeah, you know, it's like, like really oh, weird how, how it worked you out. Go. Yeah. And like then and that only like pushed me into this year to being like, all right, like let's get going. Let's like seriously try and make some cool shit this year. Yeah, like, exactly. It's like and, you and, were and, like, building be, foundation. Be consistent. Because like I've put something out, if you look, like every two or three months this year I've ha- I I'm putting something out. Yeah. In November I plan to put something else out. You know, like so How many How like What is your goal per year Of like Say like Are you only doing EPs now Or are you doing like Albums And you're just is, gonna release Small is, EPs This is a, This is One time for now I'm putting these three out And then I think November's gonna be one song again Okay 
but this year, last year I put out, well, last year was difficult. Last year I put out an EP mm-hmm. with five songs, and I, then I realized it was not ready and shouldn't have been out, so I took it down, and I put up two of those songs. The, I was wondering why Where like Where the fuck it I went two, I was like Yeah cause I like I Looked in it I wasn't satisfied with it Okay So I took three of them down And I left the two That I were okay with That were alright I left them up So technically Officially You know As far as that stuff goes Last year I put out two songs This year Um We had One in February One in May One in July now in September we'll have um, three, so that's six, right? And hopefully November we'll have one more, so seven, maybe seven for this year. Fuck yeah! So I think I think that works better than me not putting anything out for a year and putting eight songs out or like putting ten songs out, yeah. putting like one out every, like being more consistently th- because. Seven songs could be a little album for me to start off with, or whatever. But instead, yeah, it's just instead like it's throw spread it out. out. Yeah, and I could have even taken these three songs and spread it out instead of putting these three. I could have had shit set for the next whatever. But instead, I decided like I'll, I'll see how this uh, people listen to it because like when I put out the last single, there's an alternate mix. Yeah, on it, which I think is the better mix, but. It's second on purpose Because I wanted to see Because I see all the stats And I wanted to see who How many people are actually going to care To listen to the second one Yeah So now I have a good gauge Of which You know like People that Listen to the first one You know And then went to the second one And then listened to that one too And then like You know I, You know what I'm saying Yeah So I know I know people kept listening further, Yes yeah. I know like I don't know what the percentage is like now it's even higher the, the alternate mix Yeah So clearly people got through the first one And were like Oh wait this one does sound I like this How this one sounds more So like it works So now that's why That was like a test Because before I put more than one out I wanted to make sure people Can actually listen Keep listening And they're not gonna Yeah exactly off. Yeah Because that's what happened When I put out the five It was too much Like right away No one knew who, my stuff No one knew my I yeah, it's like you gotta me. get like slow, small. Yeah. No one ever like in. heard my stuff, so like I remember like the first three songs had like decent plays, but then like after the third song, I guess people just they're like, oh, I get the vibe, or whatever. Okay. Or it yeah. just wasn't good enough yet. So. But it's good that you're going through this stuff, so you know in the future of when you want to put out better, like, content that you yeah. like are really solidified I, with. I, like I think, you're gonna know, like I, you're gonna be like, I gotta think about all this I shit. I think as far as an album. I would I'm not gonna do that yet But I might like If I had a A handful of new songs I might put What I've made this year All Onto those one. songs With like A few new songs And then make an album Like This year would be seven oh, songs Oh shit yeah let's, that say. Could be, yeah let's say I have seven songs this year And then let's say I can make Five more That'll be twelve that's a good album. Isn't that what artists and do anyway? Like they do they like the this, three singles yeah. and then they and then put they out the put rest of the. Yeah. Oh shit, dude, dude. So like I'll put, but I'll have my more. Mind. I'll have like seven songs out, and then there'll be like five new ones, or whatever. And I'll, you know, pace it right, and then and then maybe I put out like that. I don't know, but I'm not sure. That'd be yet. fucking lit, actually. Yeah, I'm not sure. But that's it. Actually, that's that makes it like a really good experience for like the the fucking listeners and stuff. Because it's like you get them like it's like oh here he dropped this out like this song and then the other song and then the other song and then like at the end of the year then they have all the rest of the songs you know. Right. So like keeps them like hanging on throughout the year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. And I think that's, that's what I'm gonna do next year. I think. I'm gonna have a clear distinction. Like, after I make this one for November, I'm I'm not gonna make anything until yeah. next year. Like, I'm gonna take a break and not do anything. Yeah, a and creative then, break. Just get it. And like... then, yeah, and then I'm gonna start writing at the beginning of the year, and then have at some point whenever I'm I have stuff available to put out. Then next year will be when I put out some singles, and then at the end of the year, like November again. Yeah. 
Because I like putting things out on my birthday. This year, my birthday's it's on like a, Friday. It's like a lucky So thing. it's a good release day, too. So whatever that single is, that's cool. Because it's going to be. But, like, next year, fuck it. It'll be on a Saturday. Then I don't care. I'll, I'll put it out on a Saturday. But, like, something like that. Like, I'll, I'll put out three or four singles throughout the year. And then at the end, there's, like, those four singles and six new songs. And, like, that's how I do it next year. Instead of, like, having a big ending and something leading to, like, that the whole year. Yeah. Because this year I didn't think about doing an album at all. I was just like, I'm just going to put something out. I'm going to be more consistent. That was the only thing I... That was my goal this year. I didn't say I'm going to put something out every two months. That's just what ended up happening. Yeah. It's like you just went with the flow. It's like you're still starting off. So, like, you got to give yourself, like... Um, Like, you're still experimenting. Everything is different. What the fuck is happening. Yeah. yeah. And I... I, And doing it different every time gives it unique. I hope that's... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because I feel like you could look at it like, oh, this guy doesn't know what his sound is, too. You could be like, oh, he has a pop song here. He has a fucking, like, a a hard rock song here, a grungy song. This one has... This is like a ballad or whatever. Like, what is his No, I wouldn't say so. I would say that it's more of a potential to get a broader audience. That's what I... Exactly, yeah. It's all about the intention. It's like, if your intention is that, it's going to work out that way. You know, because you're the one who's driving it home. Yeah. It's like it's not up to other people to determine your goals. You know, right. you just gotta fucking keep doing it. Is it starting to rain? I hear it. Yeah, on the fucking back thing. I think we're starting to rain. Okay. Damn. That's what happens on the. Wrath of Aquarius podcast. Rain resembles like purity and like um, kind of like a cleansing. Oh, dude, you know what else I wanted to bring up? Uh, have you? Well, let me show it to you. I was looking at that before on the fucking. I just, you know. Oh shit! I guess maybe I should plant the seed on the podcast. But this EP is very oh. is very together. Yeah. And very like I said, I don't write stories about other things but this is tells a story about me yeah and everything about it there's like it's like it all means stuff so like it's just very want, metaphorical just want to plant a seed that like if any like if if you really listen to my music and take my music seriously and whatever this is an experiment this thing this isn't a release this is like yeah this is testing some the wacky waters. stuff in yeah. here and it's like I'm seeing it's experimental and it's like uh themed in a way and it's very like um focused and and zoned in on like a on like a feeling and like an idea and like that stuff you know it's like it's not just songs put together it's like they go together they're written together yeah it's like literally like it's an yeah it's an experience yeah just listening to the whole entire it it mean yeah you have you should listen to to it together. You yeah, listen to it as a like, whole, don't, not don't, individual don't songs. Put the second song on first, or put the third song on first. Put the first one on first. Finish it. Listen to the second one. Yeah, finish the first it. listen. Listen, listen to, the to words, it full through. Listen one to the to feeling, last. the moods of the songs. It's like it's all it goes. It flows it's into all, each yeah, other. Yeah, it all. Yeah, it's, it's one exactly. story. It's a river. Yeah, it's a river, baby. It's a river. It's a river, cocksuckers. <laughs> it's a river, cocksuckers. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy too. You're also a water sign too, so you're just like be like water, <laughs> just exactly, keep flowing. Dude. Exactly. That's lit as fuck though. Yeah. So don't you shuffle the hate, fucking. EP. You know what I do though? Uh, you know what I, I I my writing. I'll like go to write about something, and it'll always end up like. <laughs> I mean, whatever. You know, I think this. I think the words in this are very vulnerable and stuff, or like you know, if you actually read them, there's like. It's like, alright, he's being, like, for real. So I'll just say this anyway, like... The last song. She thinks she knows it all. You heard it, right? Yeah. Like, after I wrote it, you know... Obviously, it has a meaning to me. And after I wrote it, I was like, damn. If I cross out the S on every she... I'm talking about myself. But if I, if I leave the S, I'm talking about what I want to talk about. 
You know And like to myself I'm like shit Like Oh you know, damn I, I like when Is I it put like a it, form when of self projection Yeah, like, like, when, yeah, like when, I, when I put it on paper oh. Yeah like I've learned a lot That's what I'm that's saying about lit. this This has been a year of experimentation on myself And like learning about myself And it all comes through with the three songs That's what I'm trying to say Like this is like my year of growth in three songs Fuck yeah Because Just I think sum it's it all like up. The first You know what Let's go for it. How long have, How long is this gonna, Does it matter how long this is No If anyone fucking is still listening I'm just gonna go for it now The first song We're gonna get deep now The first song Stone from the Matter It's about Well you know What I wrote it for Think of it however you want When you hear it But I wrote it in the In the In the context of It's stone From the matter Like what you get The matter that you get in your life Yeah You know what I'm saying by matter Like anything Yeah like any materialism Anything Yeah Like Your stone Like that's what You get molded from Is what you get The more Okay The better you get at first You know like that's what you'll be Like Or then an idea of that Yeah that like you're fucked from the beginning if you don't have a good beginning or some shit like that. Yeah, it's like structure and I'm not talking and foundations. Racially, yeah. I'm not talking politically or anything like that. I'm talking just personally and like a person, whatever they go through, like you're a product of your environment, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like your, that's like, the idea of that song in your life. Yeah. Yeah, and Fuck it's yeah. like, and it and the song is like a plead to to. to no, <laughs> please end my life. It's, no, no, it's <laughs> no, like kidding. it's like a plead to. Get to like get uh, out of the situation that, that way, you're in. yeah, of, of thinking or being or whatever. It's like a it's like a cry out to like not be like that. Yeah, just to like kind of like that's like what that first song is about. Like, like you know, people. I mean, people, they say people, when people act how they act, you know, because of their experiences in life, things they've been through, whatever. Some people act certain ways because of things they went through, whatever, and it's not. You know, sometimes it's not them. It's not their fault or whatever. Exactly. It's, it's just that all the and, trauma that they carry and, that's and, making and them my, act that way. And my words in this song is like... It's like it's a, it's a poem or a writing of trying to say, like... You just have to let it in. You have to let it... Let it you flow. You have to let it be... To get somewhere You have to let it go Let Dude, it be Dude you're thinking about Some Buddhist shit right yeah, now Like you literally have like, let, You have to understand That it's not you It's what you've had And that But you're in control To to do what you want to do You gotta yeah. fucking Step up to yourself Face your shit Like do And then you could do Whatever you want Like that's what the song You know like yeah, it's like take the power from everything that's happened to you and transmute and it into it, something you, better. Because it's just a, it's all in your hands. Yeah, it's in your hands. If you crush it, you, you fucking crush it. It's your fault. Yeah. But if you build it, if you build, you know, it's all up to you. And that's something I've learned this past year. Like, this thing is just my lessons, and that's why Dude. I think it's so fucking special. It's so special to me. I understand. And I hope it comes across some way as being like a. It's an enlightened... Like, like, I think everything... The writing and everything is just... I don't know. It's just, like... Trying to tell everyone what I've learned, you know? Yeah. It's, like, so everybody can relate to it and shit like that. And it'd be like, yo... Or, or, yeah, or to, like, just think another... You know, I don't know. I understand. Then the second song... The second song is about... Is a betrayal. That's... That's the... I mean, can you could feel it when you hear it? Yeah, it's a, it's a dark. It's very like, like shit just went down. Like there's, yeah, there's something going on. I said it was like Metallica, little <laughs> loader reload. Like nineties Metallica. Yeah, which could be terrible in some occasions. Nah, but fuck that. I like those. To, I like those albums. I, know, I don't give a great. fuck they're about. Dude, Ooh. They're, they're masterpieces. Come on. Every single Metallica bitch, album. If you, like if you Lit- if you can't see the beauty and the and like the creativeness in that stuff. You're a fucking idiot. Exactly. Especially it's from Metallica. Just, yeah. Because of what they did start out with. You know, like that you could say like, you know, in that time, you could be like, they were a product that's not of their music. Time. Yeah. You know, like in that time, it wasn't whatever yet. But the other stuff they made, that is like crafted. They you actually, know, like in the beginning, I feel like that they were just playing for talent. And then eventually 
they actually decided like, to become like let's artists. Make real music. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, then that's why I listened to it, and I'm like, this is. I'm like, people. It's like people just don't want to change with the times. Yeah. It's like they changed, and then everybody bitched and complained about it. But they're, they're just like, yo, we're actually like making legit music now. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, I don't want to hear it. It's like, what the fuck? It's like when you put meaning in music, everybody goes away. But when you talk about nothing, everybody's uh-huh. coming to uh-huh. you. Uh-huh. I guess that they're it's, preaching it's on the not, fucking. It's not that they sing. It's not that it's about nothing. It's just like n- dubbed down and, and null. And I guess it's the relatability it's to the common easy, people. It's easier to pick up for yeah for an idiot like like anyone could pick it you know like there's nothing hidden there's no s- substance it's like yeah it's very it's simple t- it's, yeah it's straightforward there's no thought involved it's telling you exactly what it wants the message to be there's no interpretation yeah on your super own. crazy complex shit yeah I guess so that's the, why they make pop so like exactly. like albums make poppier songs to be on the radio that are kind of like dumbed down but then the rest of the fucking album yeah. is more yeah. intricate in uh-huh. the, and shit like that you yeah. know it's like it's a guaranteed money thing it's like okay these songs are guaranteed to be on the radio because they're more dumbed down like yeah catchy and shit I, and in stuff in February I put out a song it's a fucking pop song and it's not good I'll be the first I think I remember I remember you were talking about yeah, that You're like This like sounds it. poppy to me I, I don't, don't want like this it. Yeah I don't like it But yeah. I put it out for, There was something That made me just want to put it out And Yeah you're that, just like I and, you know, know and, People and you know are gonna and fucking like, like that this one, That one Got put on Like a Spotify Curated playlist And sh- like two Really two Playlists And like Fuck yeah And was on all this shit But I'm like no Cause that's not one of my Meaningful because songs Because You or, like, think it that is, it's but It's like a cop out It's like a cop out song I like, but that's why I made it. I was just having fun with that one. But I'm like, no, I don't want that to be famous. That shit. Yeah, you don't want Listen, to be only defined like, by like that I one want, song want, that you didn't I even fucking this, care about. This more deeper, difficult shit. You know, like this more. There's there's more substance to this stuff. This is what I would rather people hear of mine. But Not isn't that. that the fucking sad tale of being an artist? It's like I the thing. So. It's like the common people decide what you are going to be famous for instead of what you want it to be. You know, yeah, it's always in the people's eyes of how people fucking remember you, and it's. I mean, listen, like I said before, why I got thirteen followers. Love all you motherfuckers. Fuck like, it, I'm I'm fine with thirteen. I'll take ten. Anyone, anyone that keeps listening. But you gotta keep care. fucking going, and I feel like that the more you just put it out, the more traction you're gonna get. I have a lot of plays in like, <laughs> where the fuck is it? Um, the Bronx. Someone keeps fucking listening to it. A really. Lot. The Bronx and in Mexico and like Guatemala and some weird fucking places. There's people that keep listening to it, which that's cool. I guess like cool. Yeah, it's like fuck yes. I'll go on a I'll go to, on a tour down there. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, Mexico used to listen to the, the stuff a lot, and I was like, that's interesting. I wonder what like how it's so it's more you know more people are listening to it there than here. You know, but maybe it's that like. I don't know, maybe it's just the the genre of music. Yeah, I don't know. That yeah. you just vibe with. Yeah. I think I think like most of my stuff has like a rock undertone or something going on. There's always like some yeah. sort of rockiness or you know, you know what I'm saying. I know what you mean. And like um that's not prevalent now. So like but but it is in other countries in Mexico they still there's, there's no like yeah it's like Europe there's still metalheads there's over still there that shit, shit. Yeah. yeah it's more whatever there so I could see why it may be but and then like yeah dude and then the last song is uh, well I told you about the last song the last song is about is a little more straightforward the last one but it's not but then like I told you then it's like I don't know who I wrote it about might be about me might be about someone else I don't know Oh shit! Oh yeah, but dude, the second song I never finished. Uh, the fa- a failure to comply. That's about betrayal. And yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, uh, oppression and shit. Like if you listen to the words, shuttered down in the ground, like forced, you know, like, like you're in the fucking dirt, you know, so something like that. Like, yeah. And um, and in the end, it's like uh, the devil. Has cloaked where I stand, something like that. The devil has cloaked where I stand. In this room that I stand, something like that. Oh shit, dude. Like saying, like, it's betrayal. Like, like, 
that's the devil yeah hiding that's not who I thought it was you know yeah it's like the wolf in sheep's clothing yeah 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 and then the last it's one's about loneliness man. the last one's I'm about being shit. alone you know yeah so it's like the first one's about um but what is how did you put it you put it the best way Years, the way you said it, I was like, yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. About oh, uh, the first song being like, you get what you get is what you, you said it. You put it in the right words, like you know what you oh, what get. When you what you are given is like what, it, it, like it holds you. Oh yeah, back oh the, your life. product of your environment and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, but that yeah. So like the first one is about your product of your environment, but if you. But you're in control of everything, and if you just open your eyes and like you could you t- and you realize that for yourself that it does not matter what you went through, that shit. Yeah. The second one, betrayal, um, and the last one's about loneliness. Like it's about like big sorrowful uh, lessons or whatever. Exactly. It's like main. It's all. It's like take the main ideas of all that, and it's like the main lessons of what you went through. It's like fuck yeah, but like I feel like people like but life will go, connect. Like, to but it. it's not, but it's not us. <laughs> like it's called the sorrow sessions. But I'm not fucking depressed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm okay, people. I'm fine. I'm live. I'm living. Actually, I'm feeling amazing. Yeah, I'm it's feeling like you got that I've fucking ever, energy. I got it out. out. I got it yeah. out. Like, I put. Then that's they why they say that. That's why I don't care if people itself. listen to my music because I listen to it. I'm probably the only person that like I know a lot of people they won't listen to their creations or whatever. Yeah. I listen to it. It's like therapy for me. You know, like the shit I write down is my feelings, how I feel, whatever. So when I listen to it, it's a message like it, I wrote it. It's like it's a, a remembrance. Yeah. yeah. It's like a, it's I like, understand exactly what so you're talking about. So I don't about. care. It's like a tattoo. It's it. like every time exactly. that you look down, you're you gonna fucking remember the lesson. You yeah. Know, yeah. Like to you, it doesn't fucking matter. That you understand it. So. So I feel like that's also what distinguishes music too and makes it kind of like very dark and mysterious. It's because that like they don't understand that connection that you personally have with it. So it's like kind of like an intriguement. You're like and it like it kind of make, it makes it like a wild card because then they could apply it to anything in their life. Right. You know? It's like you just don't say what it means to you, so it could be like vague. It can be like, this has a meaning to me, but it could also have a different meaning for you. Just right. apply it to yourself and let it get through your day, you know? Yeah. No. I feel like that these are like, like church, like, um, like ancient, no. like, like biblical, like time, <laughs> like type, like you know, like stories, like, you know. I, th- the thing I think about with, like, uh, when I, after I recorded it, I was like, this sounds so cheesy. Hot and cold, young and old, you know. I was like, that's so cliche or whatever, like so simple and so like, of course, like that's a cop out. But it's where the stories. I'm come like, in. I'm like. I'm like you know hot and cold what do you think about with hot and cold you think like this oh, what do I right? think yeah like 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 when I like hot and cold you could you could put it to uh, red and blue and then like good and bad right yeah right or is that just me like that's I know what you, you mean know, like yeah, hot yeah, and yeah, cold yeah. I think of like a sink or some shit you know red is hot blue is you know and then blue is always good red is always bad yeah like, it's like that's what you associate stone from the matter be. like you're formed from what you get whether it's good or bad and it's with you whether you're young or old like that's what I'm trying to say exactly yeah but yeah do you think that's what this sounds like biblical shit (laughs) I don't know like I feel like that I'm like getting immersed into like this tale I guess that's what I'm trying to say like I feel like that like when you're reading it it's like it's like it's like a tale you know like you're like you're reading about an experience it's crazy as fuck dude that's it. A one fucking lyrics. The devil's clothes where I stand. And then this one. She woke up, everything was gone, the sun no sky to wish on. She took it all and stuffed it down inside, built up to watch it fall. She thinks she knows it all. Blah blah blah. Ah, no one was but no one was there. But no one was there. So So how do you like Get ready to cry, motherfuckers. Yeah, get dude. ready to tear up, baby. Listen to it in headphones. Yeah, head- oh my god, he- headphones. Experience. I want you guys. You don't listen. If you listen to music on your phone speaker, or like off of your cheap ass laptop. If you got a nice computer, then it's alright. But if you got a cheap shit laptop, 
Don't listen to it on that. Why would you do that to yourself? Yeah, it's don't like listen, listen to it on your phone, even if you something. have an iPhone 13, okay? Yeah. Your phone sucks still. Don't listen to it on your phone. Put in some headphones, put in your AirPods like a fucking, you know, mutant. Like a normal person. Like a fucking yeah. mutant. Put on your little fucking, uh, your little Tic Tacs in your ears. <laughs> I don't have them because I'm not a, you know what, so. Can I, can we be, uh, I'm not gonna get it. What do you wanna say? Nah, I'm not gonna say I can it. cut it out. I can Dude, cut it out. Dude, I'm ready to bring it back though. I'm not gonna be a f- put those out. Come at me, baby. <laughs> Come at me. Cancel me. I'm not famous yet. Cancel me. Or save this for, for 20 years. Exactly. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> AirPods are cool. But the pros are better. The pros look cooler. Anyway. Uh, or go in your fucking car. You know, like, get, get some good speakers going. Get some nice headphones. Fucking sit down and, and actually listen to it. I don't want you listening to it while you're fucking solving a puzzle. Like, lay down... I don't know why you're solving a puzzle, but lay down, smoke a little weed, like do something. Just have making an event and take this shit seriously. Cause I'm this this was for you. This is like there's a lot yeah, of work this in this. For all there's a lot know. of work in this. So I'm really excited for it. Because also the way that you mix it too, like you want it in certain spaces and like you want certain sounds to be heard and I feel like you can't really hear all of that through the fucking You'll lose it. You'll lose it. Yeah, it's a g- what I did with this It's like say if I, you have like a like the, this, the bass I, you know, in it Like you can't hear that through a fucking phone I it's wanted like to say speakers. that This Although it's Although it's not True True 432 hertz This EP Is as close as I could have gotten to 432 hertz So it's not in 440 Oh they have They have um They have fucking generators that make the song into 432 hertz You just take the mp3 Throw it into there And it makes it at that and place it at that. All right. Yeah. Well, then listen. This is a custom. You, we got a custom hertz going on, so it's really gonna Fuck bring yeah. my shoe. All right. This is like four thirty three hertz. My shit's at four three two hertz. I this is four three three. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna hypnotize you, motherfuckers, and you're gonna love this shit. Um. Uh. What was I going with that before, though? Why was I saying that? You were saying that it was at four three two. Oh, hertz. because there's mm-hmm. twelve octaves. Yeah. In these songs, everything else I put out has ten octaves, and most songs nowadays has ten octaves. This song, all the, all these three songs were recorded and like, you know, uh, exported or whatever in 12 octaves. So if you listen with headphones or really good speakers, there's a lot more sound. There's a lot a lot higher highs, lower lows than a regular, than you're going to hear on your phone or some shit. And it's on purpose. So you're going to listen to it on your phone and you're going to go, uh, it doesn't sound that good on my phone. <laughs> yeah, because it's not supposed to. It's made for speakers. It's made for like good shit. So listen to it exactly. with shit. Yo, that's it. <laughs> do you know who Rick Rubin is? Yes. So of course. they used to say that. Well, he what he used to do is that when he made a song, he would play it in the car and drive around. And if he couldn't get into it, like while he was driving and shit like that, he would fucking go back and remix it. So right. he's like, he needs it to sound good in your car and have the experience. Right. You know. Right. Of course. Like it, like it needs to sound good in your car. You if it doesn't, then it. what you the fuck? To yeah. Be able to, yeah. Of course. Of course. So I take that into account with a lot of shit. I, I watch a lot of his fucking and now podcasts. And I wish, now I wish I could go back and uh, remix everything I have out already. But I've been doing that like with and my I, old yeah, covers I, and I shit like that. I thought about it, but I don't want to like, confuse people. I don't want to have two versions of something up. But or just take the old one down and just redo the new and one. I don't want to do that either because I feel like likes. I'm erasing... No, I feel like I'm erasing the history of it then. Because that, you know, if that was technically the first... Public. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, because also like, you know, some Star people Wars, like the original you know Star ones. Wars. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. They when changed they all the shit it, with yeah. Star Wars, and now you can't see the original one. You can't. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I get so, it. Like, you want it to I be there. I feel like so if I get rid of that, then it. I'm getting rid of what I originally. Then put don't out. do it. Then it's like you know I'm like but faking you or something. But just make. It's like if I put something out and there was like a wrong note in it, you know, and then like I got famous and I changed it and then it was fixed and you're like, wait a minute. Yeah, you like got famous off of that. Like you know, you can't change your shit. You know. Or I get like that. that. I, I get that. Know. I understand what you're talking about. Or it's like if you, then, yeah, it's like if you it, went onto the Black it. Album tomorrow and you put Enter Sandman and you hear do do da do do da from yeah, the same like, anger. What? Yeah. The same anger snare is is is, is, is replaced fucking, on the yeah. Black Album and oh all of your God. favorite the Sabbath but true do 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 and you can't listen to it anymore. How would you feel? You'd okay. be like, wait a minute. You yeah, can't it's do like, that. Why can't I listen to the other version? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. Or you can make another EP that be like has all the alternatives. All the remixes yeah. and shit. I thought about that too. I 
with it. I guess that's how they do. Like you don't that's want it on that album, but you want them to be out. So just make a to be separate found. EP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. I have, I have, um, I also have some vocal tracks that I have laying around that I was thinking about putting out. Just like Fuck blinded, it. the first song I put out, just the vocals for it, just like a trimmed do down, it. squashed in. Because I don't know, just as something cool to put out. There's nothing Any else content is good content. I know. And you'll be able to hear the... You'll be able to hear how good I fucking sound, so it's cool. Yeah. Because, like, and that, then those early ones aren't In the future, you'll look back at it, and you'll be like, yo, it's like a reminiscent thing. You'll yeah. be like, I've grown so far from this one point. It's a good... It's like how Eminem says. He's like, the only person I have in competition with is myself, so I just look at my past albums. Right. You know? It's like... Same shit with that. It's like, just look back and be like, yo... Is this as good as this or better? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. I think I would say personally, upload everything. I was and thinking about consolidating a, uh, later. I was thinking about making a bank camp, and I know you know that's less convenient. But if you care enough, I feel like you'll go to it. What is Bandcamp like a streaming? Bandcamp is a website yeah. that you could upload music to for free instantly. There's no wait. There's no nothing. I can oh, put sure, it okay. up right now and delete it right now, and like that's and I can set whatever prices I want. They don't take any. Or maybe they take a tiny cut, like five percent or something. Or maybe but, you could just run your shit through that thing and just promote everybody to go there to Bandcamp. Yeah, and just no, be like, okay, if you convenient. want. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you want, it's like more, if you want to purchase, if you want the more, actual or you want to thing. buy it fr- directly, yeah, exactly. And I'm gonna put my back catalog on it too. Yeah, it's like, but I and, have it and, on Spotify and 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 and, blah, 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 and blah. little little secret. By the way, this uh, this Ford has circled three times. Um, really? Yep. Uh, um, a little secret: if you go on Bandcamp right now and you search Morano, you might find an old album from 2018. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and it's there's just a, like oh, we're surprised. What? The yeah, there's a fi- there's a five song EP that I uh, put up November thirteenth, two thousand eighteen. Five Shit. old songs for me that have uh, that are very interesting, very unique to that time, and that I will never make again. Actually, Fair guys, to you're comply, hearing it all now. Failure right to comply kind of sounds like a sister song to it, but it wasn't on purpose. But yeah, there's actually another five. You could listen to. And they're actually I used to make longer songs And more complex songs There's there's, It's more Remember we were talking about Format before Yeah They're more Complex So there's I probably have like 20, 25 oh, so minutes of music the longer format stuff yeah. I probably have 20, 25 minutes of music on there If anyone wants to listen to that too Morano.bandcamp.com Or something like that Fuck yeah It's called Visions Five songs They're all Yeah go, go to it motherfuckers I'll put a link Send me a link to it And I'll put it in my um, there's gonna thing. be There's gonna be Ten links on this one And it's gonna be Three hours long Yeah <laughs> Literally send me Everything that you want me To promote right. On this Episode Sounds fair And I'll fucking put it on there Sounds mighty fair Look I like the way That's set up actually Look at that You ever see a five minute uh, Song by me We got an yeah. intro To this album An instrumental again See this is uh, So four songs With an instrumental Do you put your stuff On SoundCloud too? Um, I used do to, but I don't like SoundCloud though. So because that's what I was thinking. I fucking hate SoundCloud. I tried to put the podcast on SoundCloud. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, it does it like it's, it's like annoying as fuck. So this, I'm actually glad that you showed you me this because I might. I yes, yeah, exactly. You could put it up. Bless like you, this, Frankie. You could do. It's very cool. This this thing. Because I tried to make a website, but I'm like, who the you, fuck is gonna? You how are you gonna? Cut, you could put custom banners, custom pictures. You could really. It's really cool. This thing. So all the money goes straight to your fucking. I don't know how I. I don't remember how it works. I think it's a PayPal thing or something. PayPal thing, okay. So you could set it up like albums, like how you actually want it to look. I could put up thirty albums tonight if I wanted to for free. Okay. I could put up Fuck every yes. song I've ever made on here if I want to. You know. Please send me a link to this. I will. So I, can I will. It's called Bandcamp.com. But if you guys want to listen to it, it's Morano.bandcamp.com slash releases. It's so crazy because it doesn't sound like you, and I'm like, yo, I feel like I'm listening to somebody else. Anyway, it's Frankie. This has been the three hour podcast where we don't play any of the new music uh, that I'm (laughs) trying to promote, but we've played everything else. But Stone from the Matter is going to be at the end of it, motherfucker, so listen to that shit. Fuck yeah. And if you're still listening, thank you. Hope it was interesting. Fuck yeah. That's how it's balls. It is. It's so sweating, dude. Me too. I'm like, oh. Put that my hair up because. 
you intuitively knew to put your fucking hair I knew I was going to be spicy in here when we started talking about my shit, you know? (laughs) Yeah, it literally became fucking flame. I knew it was going to get hot, so. Yeah. Anyway. Get to get It was, yeah, go ahead. It was a pleasure talking about my uh, musical adventures so far. In my 20, almost 22 years of life, it's been... It's been a trip so far. Fuck yes. I've been listening to Frankie since he started putting out his shit, and I've been loving it. It's fucking lit as hell. It is. Lily, my, um, every person that I show your songs to, they're all just like, this shit's fucking fire. And I'm like, yes. I was like, that is I awesome. I fucking love it, dude. That's awesome. I hope that, I hope people like the new stuff. I hope you guys like the song at the end. Uh, it's the, definitely the one like you said when I asked you which one it should be. Yeah. You're probably the third or fourth person that said it should be that one. So that's cool. Fuck and it. not not that anyone says boo about the other ones. It's just that, it's just every, that if everyone you says promote like, that this one shit, is do that the one, one to yeah. put out. So and that's why I put it first. You know, I already like I, I was because the other one was almost first, and I was like, what am I? Why am I doing that? Like. No way. Yeah. It has to be like You need to boom. get the mood. Yeah, yeah. Like right boom, to the point. this is this is how we're gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. So Yeah, that's Shit, it. Shit, yeah. It was, it was fun coming on. Fuck yeah. Thank you for being on. I'll fucking come on. I again. really appreciate you know I'll be it. Back soon. And uh um, we'll fucking put the song at the end and I'll put all the links to all of his shit in the description. Awesome. Um Do awesome, you wanna awesome. go with whatever plugs that you wanna do right now? Like what do you wanna plug? What do I want to plug? Like Instagram, I fucking wanna, well, yeah, any music go, shit that people can sure. listen to your shit on. We could go at Marano Music. That's M A R A N O Music on Instagram, um, on Spotify, iTunes, at all those things. It's just Marano M A R A N O. Um, and check out. You know, you're, you're hearing this. It should be what was the day that we said? Um, it? next Saturday, which next is Saturday. September the twelfth. Twelfth, right? So you guys are hearing this on the twelfth. So this Friday coming up, it's coming out. It'll be live Friday. Three new songs. Uh, they all tell a story, a big story. They're all together. They all connect. They all are. To, they're all for a lesson. There's a lesson. Learn the lesson. Listen Fuck to you. it. And fucking just, I don't know, listen to my shit. Give my shit a yeah. try. That's what I'm asking. Just fucking yeah, listen, so to, just listen, listen to it. Just give it a shot. Try to see if you like it. I don't know. Skim to it. Listen to five seconds of each song. If it doesn't if it doesn't pull you in, then fucking turn it off. Yeah. Put on the next one. And if none of them do, then, I don't know, go to a doctor because you can't hear. <laughs> you know? So, I don't know. <laughs> Frankie's music is fucking <laughs> great. <laughs> Listen to it. Yeah, that's fucking it. bitches. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you for being on. Should I do uh, uh, an outro uh, like I did my intro? Yeah, sure. Do the outro. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Wrath of Aquarius podcast has just blessed you. Again, that's all that Matt does. <laughs> he blesses you with conversations, with ideas. With thoughts Makes you think Fuck yeah bro I have interesting people man. on And people that I want to promote So fuck yeah Good night cocksuckers <laughs> <laughs> Peace out motherfuckers